And now you can hear me. Take 15. Look, I'm a professional. I do it in one take. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the Perth Four Wheel Drive Show. It's day two, and uh, we're going to have a little bit of a wander around and just show you some cool stuff that we come across. Uh, I will give you a disclaimer now there are a lot of caravans. <laughs> we are at MLB Distributor Stand, and we've also got Raptor Coating WA here. So you'll see some of the cool cars that these guys have Raptor Coated. And Bruce is also here um, in one piece, which is pretty awesome. So, yeah, let's take a wonder. Caravans, caravans, more caravans, Mazdas. <laughs> so this seems to be the latest thing, six wheels. It's a 200 series. It's, it's absolutely massive. What do you reckon? Love it? Hate it? I have to say I'm not a big fan of six wheels, but that's just me. How long is this thing? I don't know. I was trying to work that out. Let's see. Oh. It's like 12 steps. You wouldn't want to be reversing this thing in a, in a car park, would you? It wouldn't fit in any spaces anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm just popping down to Coles. Uh, they're just going to take the uh, everyday car. <laughs> it's a of engineering. It is. It's impressive. It, it really is. But um, I just don't know how practical it is. That said, if you were touring, it would be pretty cool. You've got two rooftop tents up there. So you've got tons of space. Hmm. What do you reckon to Bumblebee? These are cool. This is what's going on the FJ to accommodate my new wheels. <laughs> I like this thing. It's different. It is different. It stands out. These are pretty. Yeah? I'd have a Raptor, if you're listening, Ford. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who that could be. It might be our friends. Yeah, dog food. It looks like dog food. Sorry? Where's your display? We've got the buggy up at 14. Where is that? Uh, site 14. 14. Um, it's the Raptor Coat guys. Okay. Yeah. Saw this Jeep yesterday, it's pretty cool. That is a bar. What do you reckon? Strangely works, eh? The, the red and the red and the green. It's sort of um, Jurassic Park. Like yeah, it is a bit like that. You're right. Yeah, not bad. How about our, no our noisy neighbors? <laughs> How are you? A uh, resident DJ. Yeah. Here with the guys from uh, EcoX Gear. How are you, mate? Good morning, how are you? I'm um, very well, we're just having a wander around and uh, we heard you <laughs> before we saw you. <laughs> um, just quickly run us through what you've got here. Yes, so uh, this is a waterproof, dustproof, IP66 rated sandbags. Yeah, okay. So you can see that now this one, <coughs> the 66, everything comes with the remote control, maybe you can see it. Yeah. The RGB lights in the front, party lights, and you can change the colors greens, the red, and the white, we like and the blue. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> also the flashes here. Flashies you can good. see that flash is coming up. And also, back of the unit, that is LEDs on it. Yeah. So 
that. So it's a perfect for the you know outdoor sound system. So now this one is 500 watts yeah. to make it a little less noise. And also 300 watts and sub, so total solution for outdoor sound system. And that one's lithium, right? Yes, it is. This is a lithium, so up to 20 hours of play time. Wow, 20 so it's hours. Quite, yes. That's really good. Yeah, I like that. It's, uh, you can take it anywhere then. Yes, it is. Anywhere. So you can do the campfire, that's a perfect for it. And also, what, uh, you can dig the mate. So, yeah. one car stay, another car stay, you can dig them up. Ah, oh, so they all connect up, yeah? Yes, it is. Now, so I connect to this one, uh, do the iPad, then you know, connect to uh, the eco casting system. Yeah. Connect to here, here, and there too. Yeah. So, now I can play the, you know, a lot of music here. And then this is the new subwoofer, right? Yes, it is. And this is the new subwoofer here. Also, this one is 500 watts. 500 watts. Yes, it is. <laughs> so you're going to make it. This one, the samba is a quite nice base. But if you're going to make it the sub, yeah. it's next level. Oh, yeah. That must sound epic. You showed us it yesterday. Like, vib the vibration is insane, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's insane, that. So, um, but if you're going to have out the more base, this is the way to go. All right. Well, guys, this is EcoX Gear. You can check them out online. You get all these products uh, off their website. Awesome gear. So if you're in the market for something maybe a little bit smaller and a little bit lighter, look at this one. Waterproof Bluetooth speaker. Floats as well. And that is fully underwater. That is cool. That's cool. And it's got its baby mate. Now we're talking. Sorry. All right. Check out these snakes. Uh, I haven't had one of them in a long, long time. Yeah, true. I have to get some money though. So. Is that for the, the stand of the show, mate? It is, yeah. Best looking stand? It's the best looking stand. It's the most, <laughs> yeah, it's the, the it's the most inviting one. one. Mate, they'll, they'll, they'll be number one. Yeah. <laughs> <It's a good laughs> looking one. Yeah. Those things are awesome. I will get some cash and come back later. Beauty, mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? I don't know. We're just sitting on people's camping chairs. <laughs> 23 zero camping chairs. I think you found a new camping chair, have you? Oh my god, I love this chair. That is good. Show you guys. That. It doesn't look like it'd be comfy, but it is. It is so comfy. Metal, uh, metal stubby holder as well. So hopefully it's not going to break. Oh yeah. But it just, it just sits at a good angle. And then a it's couple. A, they're the same price. So what's the difference? Because yeah. this is the senator. This is the spring back. Oh, but this one doesn't have the rope. Grip. This one's got like a couple of handbrakes. You know so what Gene is on this one? What? If you get in shit situation, this has a rope. Yeah, so you, yeah, true. That you can actually use. Yeah. It's solid though, that's the thing as well. Like some of these camping chairs have got really flimsy legs and stuff. Yeah. I think we've got a winner. Yeah. <laughs> get your checkbook out. Check out this little. No. I go when I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm an artist. Go artist. <laughs> Check out this. This is a cool little tip, right? So you always see people down the river and camping and all that with their gazebos flying everywhere. But just um, ratchet strap, pegged it into the ground, holding the whole thing in place. So they probably wouldn't need that many other pegs if you've got that. But that's a, that's a genius idea. There are no other pegs. Yeah, that's it. Also check out the dog, the dog swag. So if you take your four-legged mate, he gets his own swag. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, mate, how's it going? You enjoying the show? Yeah? What's been your favorite so far? Oh, yeah, 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 there are a lot of caravans, you're right. All right, mate, have a good one. It's Dave. He's here every year. So you see, you can come to the four-wheel drive show and you can go fishing. How many cases are we the first day did we do in this? No, no, they catch fish. Shark Bay. Is anyone here for that? 140. Yep. Well done. You want the bag? Good. Yeah, take that. This fish Good don't stuff. look very alive. I bet, you, I bet you did it pretty quick too with that thing. How is that for a truck? This thing is a beast. Then we just fill in the gap. 
and um, just the way it goes. You know? So where are you situated? Pat. Oh, hi. How are you, mate? Good, brother. How are you? Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, what's going on? Just admiring your truck. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. How's I've got a mouthful of biscuits. Oh, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I was uh, wondering where Batesy, the, uh, the the chatting machine was. I'm, I was like, we stick that in front of Batesy, he'll never shut up. <laughs> he'll be just talking all day. He will. Um, no, he's down at, he's doing skipper's tickets. Ah, yeah, right. All right, guys, we are at the Dakar. Uh, stand and I'm with Pat. Pat, good to see you again, mate. Yeah, good, Darren. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sweet. So, just tell us what Dakar's up to. What are you guys doing? Yeah, so um, we had a pretty good year this year. We, um, what have we done? Seven tours so far. Yeah, right. So, uh, yeah, we started in uh, Esperance in March. We had yeah. a tour down there with a, with a group of farmers, which was bloody good. Yeah. And um, then we continued up to the Golden Outback, the one oh, yeah. you guys did. Yeah, yeah. So, that was a pretty epic tour. I think we did two out of there. And then uh, headed up to Newman and did a couple out of there. Yeah, right. So, um, yeah, look, we're, uh, we're back in, in home at the moment and yeah. uh, we've got our next tour on the 28th of this month. So where are you heading? So we're heading to Great Australian Bight, oh, doing nice. the Esperance tour. Yeah, it's a yeah. six-day tour. And uh, we've got 11 guys coming from Terrigal. Oh, yeah. Over in the east coast. Yeah, nice. And then what have we got? We've got three guys from Albany bringing their own bikes. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So fourteen total. <laughs> yeah. Big group. Big group. Yeah. No, we're gonna have a uh, oh, we're gonna have a work cut out for us. Yeah. So, what what does a Dakar tour involve? I mean, I know I've been on one, so but like for folks, what does a Dakar tour? Yeah. So basically, we've created like a unique small tight motorcycle tour. Yeah. Um, we run the KDM 500 EXE, which is LAMS approved. Yep. Um, so basically you can come and ride with us on a, on a learner's permit. Yeah, which is what I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, it makes it really easy. Um, the bikes are capable of uh, beginner or advanced. Yeah. Um, that's where the KDM designed them. Um, and then basically, yeah, you, you rock up, we fly you up to the location, whether it's, you know, Esperance, um, Northern Goldfields or the Pilbara. Yeah. Uh, bring a gear bag, as much safety gear as you want, yeah. or as less as you want, just depending on what the type riding style. Yeah. Obviously, it's all remote. You need to be safe, you know, when you're riding, regardless. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we are supported by this big thing. Yeah. Um, the big Hino Series 500. The beast. And yeah. Look, she's set up with uh, with plenty of gear. Yeah. Take a mine. We'll have a look. Yeah. Let's yeah. have a look. Um, lots of lots of gear. Fuel tank for all the bikes. Yep, so what, how much are you carrying? So that's a thousand, well, just under a thousand litres. <laughs> Got a barbecue in here, so heaty barbecue. That kind of, we crank that up and that does all the, most of the cooking, probably 90% of the cooking. Yep. Um, water, plenty of water. On board, there's three separate tanks. Um, this one for drinking only, that's a polyplastic drinking tank. Yep. This one's for washing up, so yep. that's in the alley tank. And um, we've got the two tanks at the back for fresh showers. Yeah, right. So that hooks up to our hot water system, yeah. so you can have a hot and hot and cold yeah. shower. Right. Spare bike in the back. So this is carried with us every time, yeah. all the time. This is all our 12 volt setup. Well, we've got our first aid kit. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, the whole thing's set up for for, for basically what we do. Yeah. And um, I mean we. Yeah, I mean, we've done tours like you've been on. We've had six people. Yeah. We're doing one with 14. It caters for all. Yeah. It's just a matter of finding a spot for something. Yeah. Yeah. It's a heck of a setup, and I'm, I've lived out of this truck for uh, five days. So we did the uh, Golden Outback tour. So we went up to Laverton, and then we did, what, 1,000K? Yeah, loop? we did 1,000K. We had um, probably about 30% of that all special track. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, we uh, we had a great time. These guys, absolute legends. We'll uh, hopefully catch up with Batesy tomorrow because he talks even more than Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, man, that's awesome. Yeah, no. mate. Thanks so Cheers, much. Darren. Yeah, Cheers, Darren. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, g'day, guys. I'm Ronnie Dahl, and um, I'm a content creator on YouTube. Ronnie's got mainly uh, full drive camping, that kind of stuff. Yeah. How long have you been doing for? Educational videos. Um, uh, channel's about ten years old. But I've been doing it seriously for maybe three years. Yeah, right. Um, and it did just, well, it was never meant to happen, but it's happened. <laughs> Ronnie's got a ton of awesome content online, so check out his YouTube videos. So we're, we're going to chop the roof off uh, at the show. Don't show too much yet, but. Um, <laughs> oh, this will go um, live in a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So you're chopping the roof off roof, and putting this on? Roof conversion, yeah. Yeah, wow. So who's doing that? Are you doing it yourself or? Um, well, um, Daniel from Expedition 
Make sure, sorry. Uh, <laughs> choking on lollies. Yeah, choking on lollies. <laughs> uh, we've got the Mulgo yeah. rooftop going on. Yeah. And um, I've been tossing up between four different ones yeah. for a while now. Yeah, okay. And uh, this, this is the one that's the lowest, the lightest. Okay. Um, and being low enough for me to put a rack on top of it. Yeah, right. Oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we'll have to come back and have a look. What, what are you doing it today? Or? Uh, 11.30. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll come back and come back and see yeah, the see the chop. Back, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Cool. All right. All right that's guys. brave, mate. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thanks for your time. No, Thank you. Cheers. 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 Speaking up behind me. No, no, I, I do that a lot. <laughs> How's it going? You enjoying it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Just taking a breather so around the corner. Guy. Yeah. Oh, oh we saw your <laughs> we saw your Simpson one. Wow. You were there like two weeks after us. And yeah. We were there was like dry ass. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because we did it in the 1961 buggy. Oh no. Nice. We did the Muddy, Muddigan line and Anne Battle bike. It was. Uh, do you know what? It was so much fun. That yeah, thing just flew over the dunes. So. Oh, and then you got in the Y62 and it's like washing machines. So. Oh, it's four uh, tons. Yeah, the trailer behind it. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, um, but no, because we so we came across those salt lakes, and I remember saying, "God, if this was wet." And then I saw oh, your video, I was like, "Yes, so, yeah, so it goes, it goes to shit." Yeah, yeah. That's about the only it's, uh, you got yourself deep in there, anyway, didn't you? Oh, <laughs> Crikey! Yeah. Put the Raptor coat stand um, oh, okay, up the yep. top. So yeah, yeah. Come come look, look, sit in it. Uh, yeah, just, that would have been so much fun. Oh, it was, it was awesome, and like the fact that it survived. I mean, we snapped the transmission. That was probably the worst thing. Oh, so okay. I'm driving along, and I'm like. What is that banging off my? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> we got out and the transmission's just like moving around underneath us. But other than that, well, it was a ratchet strap. Yeah, yeah. that was it. It was like, and there you go. And I think we did probably 3,000 k's off road with it like that. So it was. Have uh, been watching uh, too much of Ronnie's stuff. I think I have. Yeah. <laughs> so I could sympathise with you guys when I saw you like fixing things. I was like, oh man. Oh, oh. Yeah. Is it yeah. rained before you guys went there, right? Uh, no, it hadn't rained. It rained halfway across. Oh. So we got to the footy. Field, yeah, and okay, we folks, saw the clouds uh, coming, we'll yeah, and then it just opened up. Right, oh, wow! And at that stage, we were like, We don't have enough fuel to go back, yeah. so we have to keep going forward. Yeah. And it just got worse. And worse. Jeez. But yeah, what do you do? Things, what you can't go around the salt lake. Yeah. Because they're softer than going through the middle. Yeah. Everybody drives across the middle and yeah. packs it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just when you get hit a rut and you pull the wheel off. Well, yeah. You see the rain coming, right? You see all the cars coming against you. All the mud on the and you're like, what a shit. Right. It's a good content. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was awesome well, content. They were all saying good content. I was like, <laughs> my God. I know. Well, this was the thing when my, when my wheel was like along the road and I'm picking up bits of brakes off the track and he's going, this is awesome content and I'm like oh, I want to slap you with my brakes <laughs> yes what is it so it's a single cab VDJ79 yeah nice free DPF DPF yes you're going to keep that one for a while oh yeah it's not going yeah. unless someone offers some ridiculous price <laughs> I would think about <laughs> what would you get okay someone gives you 300 grand for this they buy it and then you can buy whatever you it's want. It's not a bad prize, and if you don't win that, we don't worry because we go back to the room and you win in a month's time. Really? Yeah. Yeah, right. Interesting one. Like. Okay. And you get the right. Yeah, nice. It's worth quite a few hundred dollars. <laughs> And uh, we oh, give one away every they just week. Thanks to you. They look really cool. Very capable. Very capable. Uh, but it would have to be an American, the American the spec, not the Australian uh, spec. Yeah, okay. So yeah. still get a uh, the right hand conversion done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with their specs. Do we recognise this bike? So, yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not. All right, what's awesome. the next trip? Go, guys. Next trip, we're heading okay, so to the Flinders uh, Rangers uh, in a couple uh, of weeks. Oh, cool. cool. That would be awesome. Yeah, we're going to cut him a new track but he's also yeah. uh, for um, it's funny a property a owner. Oh, OK. So, yeah. 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 That'd be fun. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, hopefully you have a bit better luck this time as well. So. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> if you need a four-ton Y62 to have got through stuff, let me know. He's always chancing his luck. Anyway. Yeah, all good. Right, mate. Thank you for chatting with us, and uh, glad the rig is is back and up and running. And good luck with the trip. It's temporary running at the moment. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit. It's a bit like our buggy. It, it's here, but uh, only only. Uh, don't ask us to start it. No, okay. Not that All right. We've got Harry from Fire to Fork. So tell us, tell us a little bit about what you do, mate. Well, my wife's description of me, my job is. I've somehow managed to make sitting and drinking beer by a fire my full-time job. Right. Um, which is pretty pretty accurate. I'd, I'd, I'd take that job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, 
I, I worked hard to not work. <laughs> I love that description. <laughs> There's people out there going, really? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how much work I did to not have to work. Um, but yeah, so like, uh, I don't know, I, I cook on fire, I yeah. don't use any gas, and yeah. uh, wrote a book and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a lot of work to and not... People are loving it, aren't they? So oh, it's, got... been, it's gone nuts. Yeah. Best-selling outdoor cookbook in Australia. Wow, congrats. Yeah. That Thanks. is awesome. Yeah, which I didn't expect at all. Like, someone who's trained as an accountant. Um, uh, well, I, I <laughs> trained as a lawyer, so don't hold that against me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I, I sympathise reckon, with you. I reckon there are that many. <laughs> Apparently, um, uh, oh, more lawyers turn into comedians than anything else. I, might, I, reckon, like, I reckon that's a thing. I reckon they're just cheeky bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Scottish and a lawyer. They like. just like the sound of their own voices, <laughs> don't they? It's like, yeah, exactly. I, 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 can, I can be funny. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Scottish and a lawyer. There's, there's yeah. It's going to be some bad. There's going to be some it's, shit talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm not exactly... Yeah, I, it wasn't for me. <laughs> it gets really good around 10 p.m. I also like 10 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get very argumentative. <laughs> <laughs> no, all good. Oh, well, um, again, check out his uh, Instagram and all his... Uh, videos and that it does some amazing the stuff. Food tube. The food Check tube. Out recipes. Yeah. I did the pulled pork in the oven. Yeah, that thing. was, uh, that was so geez, that good. Was good. Pulled pork is a good one. Yeah, it's yeah. It's really good because it's like six minutes prep and then like three hours sitting there and drinking beers and then you're like, I cooked for three hours, yeah. you yeah. bastards, that, you better wash up. That's my type of food. <laughs> <laughs> it's good because you get a good dinner but then you can keep it for the next couple of days. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, chucking it in Jaffa. Yeah. Oh. Awesome. Cool. All right, mate. Well, Cheers, mate. thanks for your time. Cheers. So, we know these guys. We do. <laughs> they are uh, avid followers, and we are avid followers of them. You can pick them out of there so they can tell us what it is. Hello. Hey, guys. How are you? Good, how are you? Very good, very good. <laughs> we, uh, do you, is there, are you both in there? We're both yeah, in there. Yeah, we're both in here. You, you got some time for a chat? Us? Yeah, of course. Hey! Are you guys <laughs> Don't worry, just point the camera in your face. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still missing the tires, so ah. it's going to be a, a tad bit bigger as well. How much does a tire cost? Uh, just the rubber. If you go Chinese, it's a grand. Wow! Yeah. So the cheap one is a Wow. Yeah. Yeah, the, the proper Michelin one is 2500 bucks. <laughs> Eat! Oh. And then you need to buy new wheels. Yikes. Are you going to put the beadlock ones on it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Want, uh, let's recovery guys. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, same. Yeah, we've actually got it. It's like one tire on the back. with oh, cool. yeah. Yeah, we off just, the wind. You have to fit like yeah. longer wheel studs and stuff on it. Two and a half grand the tire. So, yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, we have got... Who have we got? I... Paniele. <laughs> you will recognize them from our uh, Instagram channel, I hope, and you'll recognize their rig as well. It's an awesome thing. So, guys, tell us a little bit about what you get up to and the rig. So we've just taken it to uh, to Broome on a little shakedown trick. A trip, shakedown uh, trip to Broome, yeah. yeah. It's a little short just one. Just yeah. up the road. Just, yeah. <laughs> up couple, and couple back. Couple Ks, yeah. Uh, it actually went really well. We took we got yeah. super bogged on the beach, so you know, uh, we got I think tested, I saw that. tested the capabilities. <laughs> how'd you get it out? Yeah, how'd you Max recover? Tracks. Max tracks. Really? Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah, stuck them under there and it drove right out. That is so yeah, cool. Yeah. And then we had to dig the max checks out. <laughs> yeah, that's always the thing finding them, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They do like yeah. to disappear. Yeah, but yeah, we've been back for about a month now just, you know, putting on some fin finishing touches. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Big finishing touches. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and yeah, have a little bit of work to do on it and then hit the road again. So, so what what is your fuel capacity? Like, what can you carry? So standard tank is on the other side. It's 160 liters. Yeah, okay. You can, you can get about 100. 50 out of it. Yeah. We, we tested that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were actually stuck on the side of the road oh, wow. in uh, Karajini. Oh, no. Knowing it could happen, we yeah. just wanted to test the limit. Yeah, we had yeah, plenty we had of fuel with okay, us. Good, good. Um, but yeah, it was a bit of a mission. Yeah, I can imagine. It's yeah, not, yeah. not where you. have to prime it all up again, that's <laughs> fun. <laughs> it's a hand wow. pump, yeah. 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 <laughs> and just for context, how long did it take you to get to Broome? Two weeks. Yeah, we did it in two weeks. Yeah, uh, wow. but it was, and we it was... still stopped at all the places on the way, Kalbari, Shark Bay, we did Fosmapil yeah. on National Park, Exmouth, Kargini. Yeah, wow. And you did it really we, cool we really wanted to show my dad as much as possible yeah. because he came over from oh, Germany. Okay. Yeah. But then on the way back, we were like, okay, we have to slow down. It's a lot of driving. Yeah, it is. We spent like a week in Karatha. Yeah. Friends were working at the out. Northwest Brewing Company up there. Oh, that's awesome. a place to work. Awesome. That's a place oh, to hang out. Place to be, eh? yeah, awesome views as well. And like we, did, yeah, we were staying with them, and then we did some some full driving out yeah, there, like yeah. jump up, yeah. jump up track. Oh wow, cool. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that's... we did um, Unimog versus Combi from Carson McSee. Yeah, I saw I saw a part of that. That looks that was good. Crazy. Check that video out if you want to. It's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was a lot of fun. 
All right, so we will catch up with you again, and we're going to take you somewhere uh, with Bruce, and we'll do a little walk through of the, of the truck, and we want to see it uh, doing a bit of off road, if that's all right. Awesome, yeah. yeah. That sounds good. All right, guys, well, thanks for your time, and enjoy the show. Thank no worries, you. thank you. Cheers. Yeah. All right, Darren. Justin. Nice to meet you, Justin. Justin from Bullant. How's the show going? Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah, lots of people. Good. Tell us a little bit about Bullant then. Ah, uh, so Bullant Engineering, chop up 200 series Land Cruisers. Yeah. Um, uh, do chassis extensions, 330 and 600. Uh, we build all our trays um, and canopies yep. uh, in house. Um, and uh, yeah, that's what that's what we do. Nice. And that's all in WA. That is all in WA. Yep. Um, stainless steel and aluminium trays only. Yeah, yeah no, there's some, you've done some awesome conversions. It's, uh, yeah, it's yeah. been uh, yeah, been busy few years. Yeah. Uh, lots of 200s. Yeah, yeah nice. And you haven't done a Y62 yet? We haven't done a Y62. I know a bloke who wants one done, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know a guy who might want one done. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Yeah. All right, mate, thanks for that. Uh, check out these guys as well on the website and that. They do some amazing stuff. So, yeah, thanks, mate. Thanks very much. Good to talk Have to you. Have a great day. Cheers. Cheers. I'm with Saxon from iTech World. How you going? I'm good, mate. How are you going? Pretty good, thanks. You look like you've had a fairly full on weekend. Oh, it's been hectic. Yeah. All the batteries and all the jump started flying out the door. Yeah, right. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about iTech World and what you've been selling this weekend. What's been going good? What's been flying? So, so with the Perth-based company, I'm sure as you're, everyone already knows, yeah. we're selling the jump starters, chargers, all that caravan packs, so everything like the tracks are at the front. Yeah. You guys. All the jump size and everything, they're very popular because they can just um, jump up pretty much any vehicles and our batteries can drop into pretty much any setup yep. because they can charge from standard systems. Yeah. So they're very unique in that sense, which puts them aside from other lithium batteries in the market. Yeah, and you guys have got the lithium starter battery, which is pretty... Yeah, yeah, we've got the starter one um, yeah. out of stock at the moment, but yeah. not too far away, hopefully. Yeah, cool, and I saw like lots of people doing the weight test on the lithium batteries there. So. Yeah, the biggest thing everyone says is that the weight difference. They pick up their, these ones here and they get surprised that there actually is a battery there. Yeah. Because everyone's always used to the traditional AGMs. Yeah. Big surprise. We've been uh, we've just been testing this one here. So you've got these power packs of various different sizes, haven't you? Um, yeah. Those things are pretty cool. Yeah, they're awesome because they're um, different from your traditional dual battery system in the sense that everything's already in built. Yeah. And we've got plenty of different types of them, ranging from 25 amp batteries to 50 amp to 100 amp, which can even run the coffee machine. Yeah. So if you don't have like a power set up in your car or anything like that, you could literally take one of them camping, couldn't you? And you your cupboard. 100 percent. 100 percent. A lot yeah. of people um, are even using these for their caravans yeah. to run most yeah, right. of their appliances. We've just uh, charged two batteries um, for the camera and I used about 10 percent of the capacity. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, really cool thing and charging off solar as well. 100%, yeah, it just shows you the power of what it can do, really. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thanks for your time. Um, you guys have certainly been busy, so it's good to see you selling stuff. Awesome. And, uh, yeah. Cheers, Saxon. Thanks, guys. Thanks, mate. Good one. We are at Camping Overlanding yeah. uh, with Amalia. Oh, thank you. How are you? you? I'm good, how are you? Not bad, not That's bad. It's good. Sunday afternoon, it's almost I'm time to go. Right, it's Sunday afternoon. The wind's picking up, it's nice and breezy. It is, actually, it's been light. roasting. How's the show gone? It's been very good. It's yeah. been very good. It's been very busy for the past three days. So we're happy with that. Yeah. But yeah, it's because we've got such, you know, unique gear. Yeah. Shops, you know, there's a little bit of Red Roads with the fire cooking gear to Osbry, another yeah, like yeah. very popular brand with some cool knives. And a lot of really unique products in here. Everything's curated with the base of reliability as well as like longevity as well. Yeah, yeah. So oh, you've got something some. Something that could go for long term use. Well, that's, well, that's kind of what you want. And so. also smart packing as our jam. So, <laughs> <laughs> so where are you guys based? You're in Perth, aren't you? Yeah, so in Perth on Erindale Road in Belcatta. Yep. So nice and easy in between, you know, you've got Breed Highway and you've got Mitchell. So nice in the middle. Easy. Easy to get to. Yeah, cool. And What's we're the really. Number one yeah. seller? Yeah, what is your number one seller? It would be a fire pit, actually. Yeah. The Red Rose Fire Pit. The ah, number one okay. seller. People love it. It's just, it's nice and compact. We'll compact down to the nice little flat pack, all stainless steel. So. And this one, this one, yes, this one. This one. This. This one, this <laughs> tripod. What system, is this? I know. So, fire pit. Yes. Yeah. Wow. riser and then with a little tripod system here to kind of have like a suspension yeah right and it works well it works really well and That's it actually cool. it's it i guess once you start having this you, you turn to a bit of more of a creative cook you try to find different ways yeah and utilize everything but it gives you option if anything I think I saw you online trying to put it together. So. Oh, yes, you did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah no, that's cool. Yeah. All right, yeah, guys. That's 
that's them. Come and check them out at their shop in Perth and uh, yeah, grab some of their cool gear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We are here with Maxine. Hello. How are you? Yeah, good. Really good. good. It's been a good three yeah. days. <laughs> Enjoyed the show? Loved it. Yeah. It's been awesome. Yes. There's been so many great people here. It's been busy, eh? So busy. Yeah. But nice. I feel like like-minded people, yeah, it's been great. We've had plenty of great conversations. Yeah, that's cool. Same, same. Um, we're just doing wandering around. We are interviewing people that uh, are doing cool stuff. And cool. of course, we uh, absolutely love your van. Yes. So, uh, so cool. <laughs> check them out. If you haven't already checked it out, check them out. But Thank tell you. us a little bit about the history of it and what you guys are up to and what oh, you do. Oh, well, I mean, it's a very, very long story, so I'll keep it pretty short. <laughs> um, but we picked this up off a farm in Tenterfield, which is like yeah. northern New South Wales. Okay. We are originally from the east coast of New South Wales. Yeah. Um, we've had V-dubs for forever. Carsten and I have been together since we're teenagers. Oh, wow. That's we cool. did our first lap of a combi in 2009. <laughs> Amateurs at that point. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, since that point, we've just loved V dubs, yeah. loved pushing the limits, loved adventures. Yeah. But this beast here, uh, which Carsten likes to call no good, I call it the goat, <laughs> but Carsten calls it no good. Um, obviously, um, Carsten's done the full fit out, he's done all the modifications. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's got a 2110 air-cooled engine, so it's still got oh, the wow. it's still got a V-dub engine <laughs> in it. A lot of people hear it and they're not sure. Oh, good. Um, but we've tried to keep it like as rustic and authentic yeah. as possible. Yeah. And it's pretty simple, but it's got everything that we need to oh. kind of push the limits and do the crazy stuff that we do. And you guys traveling around and what, what sort of adventures you've been getting up to? Oh, oh heaps. Well, we're full time on the road, yeah. so we have no end date. Yeah, um, nice. But yeah, I mean, when our daughter was a baby, massive adventure was Cape York. Um, we've done plenty of like desert dirt tracks, which is awesome. Yeah, cool. Um, love going through the Kimberley. Um, yeah. I feel like the list is endless. <laughs> I've, got, I've got heaps of things that I've That's just... That's the great thing about Australia, isn't it? There's just yeah. never ending places to go. It's, uh, it's amazing. I feel like we've just touched the surface. Yeah. I think that's the beauty of Australia. And what we really want to do is show people parts that a lot of people, yeah. they can't even envisage going yeah. to, and then yeah. maybe we'll inspire them to get out there and yeah. do it. And you guys are doing it with a family, which is awesome. I mean, it's so good, so Thank inspirational you. to other people. Thank you. Um, it's very basic, so we do everything outside. We've got the cooker out here. Uh, which is really annoying actually at the moment we're finding. Oh yeah. We should have done induction. Yes. With the wind, yeah. we haven't really experienced like the crazy east, yeah. um, west coast winds. Yeah, so. yeah, and the afternoons it's a nightmare. We we run induction in the trailer and it's just yeah. Yeah, it's a game changer. I think there's always things that you'll, you know, change and adjust. Yeah. That's a part of traveling. Yeah, yeah exactly. You, you um, learn it, learn every trip really, don't you? Yeah, this, this slides out. I'll just keep it really basic, but um, we've got this live screen in here which usually I roll up, but I won't do. Oh, they don't yeah. And then we've got the Dometic fridge freezer in there. Yeah, we nice. all squeeze into the, the bed inside, but usually we've got like a tent, like a canvas tent that fits off the back. Okay. Otherwise it's just- Too much. Way too squishy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, we've also got a sink in there as well, but we never use it. Yeah, really. right. It's a great setup though. Thank you, that's Love Carsten. This. He's just arrived. Look at this. This is, this is, hey, this mate. is How the, are you? Uh, Good, mate. The Good. Behind the I've just been over there with the Beatles and the Manx. Oh, is that, you is that you guys? Yeah, that's the buggy. That's I, was just, <laughs> I was over there looking at the AMR 500 ah, and, yeah, yeah. and all the stuff, and cool. I'm just sitting there going, oh, this and that. So and good, and that. That. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, the buggy's ours, so um, yeah, I went across the Simpson and it and yeah. San Miguel. And, yeah. yeah, you know, two wheel drives are. Heaps easier. Yeah, 500 kilogram buggy. So yeah. It just flies over. Easy. I know, yeah. I picked the front of yours up when I was over there before. <laughs> I'm like, watch this guy. I'm like, watch that. <laughs> I definitely can't do that. Yeah, yeah, no, it hurt. I'm not yeah, going to lie. No, it's, it's an awesome little thing. So, yeah, cool. Yeah. Just, do, just doing a quick run through of your. Uh, oh, your yeah. Band yeah, and babe, that, so. look, I just gave a basic overview. You oh, know? No, no, no doubt you've done a good job. <laughs> no, nah, she has. Done a great job. It's hard to cool. keep it short because it's. I like, know, it's like, tell me your story and you're like, oh. Tell me your story, but keep it short. Yeah, exactly. No, all good. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank Lovely to meet you. Mate. And uh, yeah, good luck with the travels. Thanks. Yeah, we'll you keep too. breaking it. Yeah, we'll get Maybe there. we should uh, see, you, see you on a desert track. Oh, we should. Time. We should do a VW uh, desert track trip sure. somewhere. Yeah. I'm going to throw it out there. I want the Manx yep. down Gunshot. Oh, well, 
Well, I want to do it. it. Challenge accepted. We're, we're going. I think we're going to <laughs> we're gonna do, do it. Cheese, we're going to do it. I reckon we'll tell you that. Let's hit it together. Yeah, let's I do want it. that mud screen in the. I want the mud screen. <laughs> Windscreen in the mud. <laughs> the mud. The mud on the yeah. screen. Right. You can you imagine a manx like? Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You heard it here first. Then. Yeah. Gunshot. <laughs> yeah. Gunshot. It's happening. All right, guys. That's our walk around of the Perth four-wheel drive show. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've come across this trailer that I really like, so I'm going to go and speak to these guys about uh, about that. But now we're at the iTech World stand. Um, obviously, we've got the iTech World stuff in the trailer. The trailer's here for the weekend, so you, um, we've done a video on that. And if you want to see what we've got in there, then uh, check out the video. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the walk around. It, uh, it turned out there was more than caravans here, which was pretty cool. Um, some really cool stuff here and busy, busy weekend. So really enjoyed it. Hope you guys have to catch you next time.